few doctors in the world can look at their patient list and see this. But physicians from the Bangladeshi and U.S. armies are up for the challenge. Today is the first day of the medical readiness exercise, a, a joint exercise between uh, the Bangladesh Army and the American Army. And what we're doing is we're basically, we set up the facility when we got here last night and we're running patients through. They basically come through the front gate and uh, after that they're put in a separate session for males and females due to the Muslim culture here. From there they get patient registration and then from there they go to and see a screening physician. What patients they deem necessary to go in to see the physicians, they will go inside. Meet Sarajo Hake. He stepped on a thorn farming his crops over eight years ago. And though he didn't have to come far to reach the clinic today, even walking this far is a challenge. Now, for the first time in almost a decade, he's receiving medical care for his injury. And I don't know who's more grateful, whether it's the patients that are being seen or our American Army providers, healthcare providers, it, they're just humbled by what they're doing and the experience they're, they're having. This is so good for their experience level, for their training level, and so in the future when we do go to remote areas, uh, they just have a broader base and experience of things they previously, previously just read in books. Hake thanks the doctors for their care. And though it just doesn't seem like enough yet, Working with foreign militaries like the Bangladesh Army paved the way for men like Sarajo to be healthy once again. Marine Corporal Jen Calloway, Hamchar, Bangladesh.